So it is vinegar. It is the liquid. There's about 50 milliliters inside this flask. Inside each balloon is sodium bicarbonate. That's baking soda. And you guys, and so what's going to happen is we have different amounts of baking soda inside each balloon. And so I'm going to dump these in here and then we're going to wait and see what happens. So what you should be observing is the volume of gas that filled up each one of the balloons. And so there's a progression. The more sodium bicarbonate or baking soda that we added to each container, the larger the volume or the more carbon dioxide that was produced. When we're talking about this with limiting and excess reactants, if we look at the one that, we only, that I only added 0.5 grams of baking soda to, the limiting reactant is going to be the baking soda. It's almost like there wasn't enough to react with all the vinegar that's inside the container. On the other hand, the reaction where we added 3 grams of baking soda, that reaction is still going on. That vinegar has run out and will run out and there, was, there will still be baking soda left inside the container. In that situation, the vinegar is the limiting reactant. The vinegar will run out before the baking soda does. 